So when it comes to marketing, Google Labs has two experimentation tools which people are using separately. The first one is Google Pomeli. It is a marketing campaign creation tool that helps small businesses create branded social media content by analyzing their website to understand their brand DNA. That's your tone, colors, fonts, imagery style. It's designed to automate marketing so you can produce professional, consistent assets that has your brand tone. Second is Google Stitch, which also recently got updated. Stitch now uses Gemini 3 to generate web and mobile UI designs. It has also got a redesign agent that allows you to redesign any content based on your prompt. But here is what no one is talking about. What if you can combine the both of them? What if you create a social media campaign that has got your brand tone from your main website, but actually sends everyone to the landing page that you just created for your micro campaign? And that is going to get you a lot more leads rather than sending people to your main website. So in this video, I'm going to combine both of these to give you a marketing superpower. And by the end of this video, I will have a live campaign posted on LinkedIn that you can see. All right. So with that, let's get into it. So here is a simple workflow that we are going to follow. I will have Pomeli point to my own website and Pomeli will immediately get the brand tone, the basically the business DNA, right? Then what I will do is I will have that imported into Stitch and I will ask Stitch to design a landing page, keeping all of the business DNA in mind. Once that is done, I will export it to Google AI Studio where I will create an actual landing page and deploy it to Cloud Run. Once I have that done, then I will go back to Pomeli and then create a campaign which will point people to that particular live website. Again, keeping all the brand tones and everything in mind. And once we have created the campaign assets from Pomeli, I'm going to use that and I'm going to go to LinkedIn and post the campaign live. All right, so that's the workflow which we're going to follow. Okay, so let me first go to my website. All right, so this is my website where I usually write some stuff and it's basically like a newsletter. So there's not much going on, but I still wanted to show you how even with something like this, Pomeli should be able to help. So I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to go into Pomeli. So this is how the onboarding page looks like. So I'm going to click on let's go and then I'm going to provide the link to my website. Now what it's going to do very quickly is it's going to analyze my website. It's gathering the colors. Basically, it's getting everything about the brand right now. You can imagine you using it for your own brand. Um, so that you don't have to recreate all of these details. And you can see what it has generated. It, it has found the logo. It has understood the fonts, which is exactly spot on. It has understood the kind of colors that I have, the tagline, the brand values, the brand aesthetic, brand tone of voice, and all the kind of images which I have. So I don't have a lot of images. So it was only able to find this much, right? Business overview and stuff like that. I'm going to say looks good. And at this moment, I can generate a campaign right here. But this is not what I want to do. Because remember, I want to create a landing page. So my thought process is, what if I wanted to run like a live agentic AI webinar, right? And I want to generate leads for that webinar. So if I ask people to go to this website, you know, there's no, there's no mention of that. And I want to create a landing page specifically for that event. So this is where what I'm going to do now is, now that I've got the brand DNA, I have the option to download the business data. So I'm going to click on create business data. And it gives you the business JSON, which is gold. And you see here, this is the JSON that it has created already, right? So it gives you the brand values, visual aesthetics, tone of voice, and all of those things. It also gives the campaigns that it has created. But what we are really interested in is something like this, okay? So now that we have got this, we will now go into Stitch, which is our second tool. So now we are in Stitch, and this is where the latest update that we have, the Flash model available in Stitch. So, you know, you're able to create things pretty quickly. And just for uh, folks to understand, right? So if you look at the settings here, the daily credits for generation is 400 credits and daily redesign credits is 15. Now, this credits also might depend on the version of Gemini that you have. So if you have the pro version or the ultra version, you might see different credits. I will encourage you to look for the documentation yourself. So the login that I'm using does not have a pro or ultra subscription. And that's why you're seeing blank over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the website URL over here. I'm going to paste the URL. And then I'm going to give it a prompt like this, which is create a web landing page for a free agentic AI webinar from the concept to production. This is what I want uh, the focus of the webinar to be. And then I'm also going to add the details from here, right? Which will give it a brand tone and stuff like that. Okay. So now I've given everything and I am ready to click on go. Okay. So now it's going to use all the details that we have provided and it should come back with a design which should have the same brand tone and aesthetics 
which the main website has, right? So we'll give it a few seconds for it to come back to us with an actual landing page. All right, so it has done its job and it has come back with this particular landing page. I wanted it to be web-based. So this is what we have got. It has got my name. Obviously, we'll have to change the picture and stuff like that. And it has done everything what I've asked it to do. We gave it the modules and stuff like that, right? So what are AI agents, building rack agents, ADK, deploying to production. And then it has also found things from my website. You can clearly see that it is coming from, from my website, which is over here, right? So with the exact dates and stuff like that. So this is where it is really powerful and it keeps it very close to the original website. Now you have some options to ask it to do more things. For example, add a countdown timer to the hero section. So it should be able to do that pretty quickly. So we can wait for a second for it to generate. It's already doing the job. But once it is done, like here you have all of these different options. So you have the option to create multiple variations. So I'm just going to click on that and you can define like the number of options, creative range. You can also have custom instructions. You can provide like aspects. Do you want to change the layout, color scheme, images, text font? Like I'm just going to go for all, right? Just to see what happens. So that that's one aspect. Then the other really cool thing that I like about this is something called a predictive heat map. This is where you are able to predict ahead of time how your footprint on the website or digital footprint on the website is going to be, right? Which is pretty cool. So we'll look into that as well. And then you can also obviously look at it from a mobile and a tablet and a desktop perspective. Once you're satisfied with this, then you're going to go ahead and export it. So it has generated the heat map as we had asked, which is pretty cool. So let me focus here and you can see that it's expecting people to look into this, people to look into the author. Very neat, right? I really love this because it also gives you an idea which part of your website is most critical, which is highly visible. So you want to make sure that those parts are definitely not broken, okay? I also want to make sure I see all the different concepts that it has generated. So there you go. So it has got the clock here, which is fantastic. I love it. And also generated the various sort of variations that we had asked. This is one variation. You can see that there are different variations here. Now, this one is a very different one. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to post it, but this is like the the non-dark theme. And this is this one is a dark theme, right? You know, wh whatever works the best for you. So you can see how this is going to look like. This has got a clock and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and say that, okay, go ahead and export it. And this is the next thing where you can actually say that, make this real. And you can obviously have a more detailed command. But if I do this, then what it does is it directly goes into AI Studio and you can just click on build. And just like that, you will be able to create a running website with the exact same design that you have created here. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes for it to come back and we will see what it creates. All right. So it has done its job and you can see that it has come back with really awesome stuff here, right? So you can see that, let me just go full screen here. And you can see here like Agent AI from concept to production, live webinar series. It has got the clock right. It has got all the modules right. It has got the secure your spot and the registration piece as well. Obviously you can change the picture, right? You can just upload your own picture, which should be pretty quick. And it's also done a good job where it has mentioned related reading. If I go to my website here, it has got exactly the same things mentioned or the posts mentioned here, right? Which is pretty cool. So one thing to note here is the registration is not going to work if we just deploy this directly right now because there's no backend, right? And this is where you need to have a backend like a Superbase or you need to have a backend like Firebase where Firestore can actually manage all of your authentication, authorization, login, registration, and then saving the details in a database, which is the Firestore database itself. So that is one part which we will need to also address here by just adding some commands and also going to Firebase and providing some details. Everything can be done without writing a single line of code with complete no code prompting. But I just want to make sure you're aware that if you just deploy this, it, the public URL will be live, but no one will be able to actually register because there's no place to store it. There has to be a backend for this. So just keep that in mind. And if you guys are interested in me making a video of a complete end-to-end -end backend plus frontend like this, where you can actually store the details in a database. You can allow people to register. I'm happy to make that video. So please do let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. So for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this deploy app button over here, which basically links to your Google Cloud project. So if you have a Google Cloud project with the billing enabled, then you are able to deploy the app there, right? So you can see that the app is successfully deployed. And if I click on this particular link here, this is the live link, live public URL, which is already there and can be accessible by anyone, right? So now we have got this, this particular link running. So what we're going to do is now go to Google Pomeli 
and we are going to reset the business DNA. So there is an option here where you can always reset the business DNA and then click on let's go and then provide the link to what we just downloaded, what we just created here. And you can already see that it has found the website and it is doing the same thing which it was doing before. And there you go, right? So it is able to get to all that. Now, of course, you have the capability to unselect the images and you can upload your own image. So let's say I'm going to upload my own image, which is this one. And then we can add logo and stuff like that. So obviously, you need to work on this a little bit based on what you have generated, you know, what you've got over here. This one didn't really have any pictures. So you can provide the pictures and then the branding. And then based on that, it's going to do that. So once I say looks good, and then we follow the same process. And here you go, right? So you have already got these things created. So I'm going to create a campaign for an Agentic AI webinar series highlighting the speaker in the hero image. Let's see what it comes back with. So this is where what I'm now doing is I'm creating a very specific campaign, which is going to be focused on getting people land on, on this particular website, right? So you can see the first one, I go back and click on all the others. And then we'll give it a few seconds or a few minutes for it to come back with what we want. So here you go. I specifically asked to keep the speaker in the focus. So it has done that, right? Master Agent AI Leadership, Market Economist Systems, join our live series. You can change the header. You can change the font to something else as well. You can change the description. You can change the call to action. You can generate the call to action as well. And it's creating like multiple versions for that as well, right? So that, that's something which you're able to do. Let's see another one that it has created. For example, this one. Again, you are able to change all of these things. You're able to generate a lot of these things automatically. And you can see that within just a few minutes, it was able to create this. Now it has got the second version where I added the call to action. So it has got the join webinar image as well. So I'm going to click on download and I've downloaded it. And the next step will be for me to go to LinkedIn and basically create a post and then just post it, right? So that's the idea. So the next step will be for me to go to LinkedIn and upload the same image and then click on next and then write my own thoughts and boom, right? Like you post it and you will have the live webinar series as a campaign posted, right? It's that straightforward. Now, of course, here I've taken the LinkedIn as an example, but you could have taken any other media channel as an example where you would be creating this campaign. So that is what I wanted to communicate, right? So you saw how we were able to really combine the two tools to really get to your brand tone and then also create a very custom mini website so that we can invite people to register to the webinar. Of course, you have to provide the right link and all of those things. So you need to spend a little bit more time. I didn't want to make this an hour long video, but I think you get the idea, right? So these are amazing tools available for you at your disposal. Most of these are available for free or at a very little charge, depending on the kind of subscription that you have. But if you are able to combine them and really put your brain to work, you can really create magic. And that's really what I wanted to share with you. So if you guys have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section. And hopefully you liked the video and you found it valuable. If you did, please hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.